folks in the chat are concerned about uh, Alex Adkins moving on. Isn't it pretty standard that when a coach gets this kind of bump, that there's also money there directed toward the football program to say, hey, the coaching staff's going to be rewarded as well? Yes. Um, that's a um, that's a loaded question. Um, obviously, Atkins is a huge part of what Florida State's success has become. And I think if there's anyone at this point other than Coach Norvell that you make sure is happy financially, um, it is Atkins. Atkins did sign a, an extension, um, was it last season, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, so he did just come off of an extension itself. But I'm sure that there's some type of bag put back, so to speak, for, for Atkins. Um, and I think that they will because Atkins is one that you have to hold on to. He's one of your most talented coordinators um, or other coaches. So they'll do whatever is necessary uh, to make sure Atkins stays here as long as it's, you know, within reason. So I don't, I don't, have, any, I don't have any fear that we're about to lose Coach Atkins um, now next year, maybe the year after, but especially next year. There'll be a hot commodity. There'll be plenty of teams come and ask, you know, hey, we've got this head coaching position, et cetera. Uh, it just depends on if Atkins wants to, you know, drop down into the lower part of the FBS or maybe the top of the FCS to be a head coach and work his way up from there. Or if he wants to continue to build uh, potentially a legacy at Florida State and then start getting power five offers right off the dot because it's usually what great coaches can do. So just depending on Florida State's success over the next uh, season or two, depends on where uh, Atkins ends up. But we'll see how that goes. I think for Atkins, too, I don't see him leaving for an offensive coordinator job somewhere, an offensive line job out to where the position that he'd be taking would be a head coaching job. Like you were just saying, Chris, I think it would be somewhere lower at a lower FBS level. And absolutely, if he, if he wants to do that, and I think eventually that that will be the case for him. But if you're looking at competitive competitively with other colleges, I think Florida State and what Alfred has shown us, they will try to do quite a bit to keep him in store with Florida State. And it goes to show, too, a lot of things recruiting-wise also is on Atkins' shoulders, too, as we've seen the last couple of seasons. Atkins sometimes will dip outside of his position to help uh, help, help recruit on a few players, uh, some recruits at the high school level, definitely at the transfer level, too. A lot of offensive linemen come in to want to play for Alex Atkins, you got players from across the country, Auburn. I mean, you, you've got guys that hear about Alex Atkins, and I think for him, the biggest thing, I think his best tactic is relationships. You know, he's got a few guys that he's been able to say, yeah, I put them into the league. Those are my guys. But from what he's been able to do and get these guys into the fold it has been relationships, and he does a very good job at that. So Florida State, the only concern here would be Maybe after next season, he, he maybe looks into taking a head coaching job somewhere, but I don't see him leaving for another school, if, uh, leaving for offensive coordinator position, you know, offensive line. It doesn't make sense to me. I think Florida State on their end would be able to do what they need to do. They'll load up the Brinks truck for him.